welcome. This is Melissa Arm of the Stock Swish and Reviewing Adobe. <clears throat> this was a really nice call. And this is a great example. Again, we talked about this today in the options lecture. We discussed this at length. And this is a great example of, I think, one of the mistakes that people are making in trading. They're taking the trades and killing them if they don't go the same day or killing them if they're down. Again, while people could kill trades when they're down 50%, they can kill them when they're down less than that. I really think the best thing to do is to take every trade, risk the amount you can afford, and hold the trade through and play it out. What do I mean by play it out? What do I mean by hold it? I mean play it out till it goes positive, green, money, or play it out until it loses, which some trades will lose. They absolutely will. For example, Davidia, and I'm just choosing this one here to show you quick. <clears throat> this loss last week. This was one of the ones I called late in the afternoon on Monday. It never went back down in the right direction. Fell early Monday. If I'd done it earlier, I would have been in and out with profit. But I did it too late. And I expected it to continue. It did not. So this was a loser. I could have saved money getting out of this with a partial loss. But I let it play out. God, this is taking forever here. There. Um, looks like this fell today with market. But anyways, we did this too late. I could have gotten out of this with a partial, partial loss anywhere in here. And I did it and I played it out. This was Friday. It just it just rallied too much, never broke. But anyways, my point is that I'm sure people killed this year. I'm sure people killed this here, and then the trade went on to work. It had plenty of time, plenty, plenty of time. And I think that if people would play this way to win or lose, trade this way to win or lose in trades, they will end up having much, much different results. Again, I'm looking at the gap, and some of you are looking at stuff that I don't do, and it's not the way I'm making the newsletters, and to be honest with you, it doesn't make any sense. Because again, if you looked at this thinking it was gonna fail, thinking it was long or something like that, you were wrong. This went on to work, it fell, and to be honest with you, it's still lower. The low today was 602.73. You could have got out of this today. It was a nice move today. You could have got out of this today and booked the money. But I've got to be honest with you, if you are still in it, this looks very good. So if you're still in it, 600, and I mean, if 600 breaks, look out below, people. And this is good here. We're, we're under 370. That's a critical point for this. So anyways, getting back to what I was saying. Back here. We talked about this at length today, but some of you weren't there. And you missed a good lecture. I'm trying to do lectures at times to get everybody. I don't know when that is. You tell me. You tell me because some of you just don't understand what you were doing here. And then trades are working that some people are getting out of with losses. I hate to see that happen to people. But if you don't ask me questions, if you don't come to the lectures, what can I, what can I say? Everyone should be sizing themselves so that they could potentially lose in the trade. Knowing that and not feeling afraid to kill it immediately. Giving it a chance to work. If I call a trade on a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday that doesn't expire to the following week, why would anyone kill it within 24 hours? Give it a chance to work. There was nothing wrong with this here. And the only reason this was up here was because of that particular day the market was. So, anyways, this was nice today if you get out of it. It looked good Friday, too, and it looks lower here. So, good luck, and we'll see where we go this week.